Go Interactive with Fiona. They say that um, studying an instrument is like a workout for your brain. It's like going to the gym for your brain. There are so many instruments to explore and we have everything from the most common symphonic instruments and more popular instruments like guitar to the lesser known instruments like the oboe or the bassoon or even the tuba. An instrument that I've always been really fascinated by is the harp. And I'm in luck because I'm with Haley today, a student instructor from the Nanaimo Conservatory of Music. And Haley's going to give me a couple pointers on getting started with the harp. Absolutely. So it's a pretty easy instrument to learn. Um, really? Or to pick up anyway. It's not overly challenging to make it sound nice. So okay. I think we're just going to start by how to hold the harp. Okay. So you're going to put your feet nice and flat on the ground. And am I positioned okay like this? Yes, yeah, we're okay. all good. Back straight. And then what you're going to do is lean the harp back and rest it on your shoulder right there. Oh, yeah. lean the whole instrument back. The whole instrument back. Okay. Steps back. Ah. It's super light. It's, it's lighter than I would have thought. Yeah, because yeah. this thing here, the soundboard is hollow. Okay. It's where all the sound resonates from. You can start at birth with kinder music classes here and our oldest student I think is around 90 now so it's for all ages and for all levels. Glissando is a very popular harp technique made by running your fingers all the way up the strings. Okay. So they use this a lot in orchestral music. Orchestral composers absolutely love when the harpists do big fancy glissandos all the way up and down. Okay. So it's the first thing we try to do mostly so. Okay. You're gonna just take your finger yeah. and you're gonna try to play with the nice Am I using my left it? hand or my right hand? Uh, left hand, probably. Left hand, but I'm right-handed. It doesn't matter. Well, okay. <laughs> you actually use both, depending, but just because it's on your left side is yeah. more open, you're going to use it to start with. Okay, so great. Just drag it all the way up the strings. Okay. So no big deal. I'm just going to play a glissando for you. <laughs> Super easy. That's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Do you want to go back down? You. you can use your thumb. It's my thumb in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more glissando for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you're a natural. Oh, thank you. Well, the Nanaimo Conservatory of Music is the place in Nanaimo where you can take amazing number of different kinds of music lessons. We offer individual lessons and group lessons, and we also do some community outreach things. We have a Yanina Fielkowska coming on March the 13th for our solo piano concert. So we bring in special guests and do performances with them as well. Got a little bit of the claw going on here with oh, your okay. thumb down here. So we want our thumb to be nice and tall up here so that it's not in the way when you pull it back. I think probably the biggest challenge is the fear, right? It's, it's a fear that you're going to do something wrong, it's not going to sound good. Well, that's what we're here to do is to help you um, get past that fear and say, yeah, make those mistakes. You know, uh, understand that that's part of the process. The particularly nice thing about the harp, I think, is that it sounds really good right off the bat. So violin is a beautiful instrument, obviously, but it takes a couple years to start sounding good. If for some reason an instrument doesn't seem like quite the right fit, you can just go on and try another instrument. There's, there's so much we can do here for, for someone that's interested. That's why we have our open house once a year and you can always come down and speak to our instructors and talk to us about what kind of instrument you might be interested in playing. It's not really necessary to become a so-called professional musician and, and carry out your life being a musician, though of course if you want to we can help you in that endeavor, but um, music can be a really wonderful hobby and it can really sustain you for the rest of your life. I think I might have missed one there. That's okay. So it's <laughs> augmented arpeggio. <laughs> right, it's augmented arpeggio. So it sounds like there's lots more about the harp that unfortunately we don't have time to cover today. But we did cover some glissandos, arpeggios. Augmented arpeggios. Augmented <laughs> arpeggios. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for the lesson, Haley. I really appreciate it's my it. My pleasure. And I'll leave you all with a glissando. Hi, my name is Bruce Halliday. I'm the general manager here at the Port Theatre. Welcome to our Spotlight Series.
likes chilling, but tonight something's up. She was sexy as what the Jimmy chews out, and got that funny look like you ain't going. No, you ain't going. What I look for in this series are artists that uh, are emerging, that need exposure uh, to national touring audiences, that might be of interest specifically to our city and our community here. Uh, they're definitely artists, generally speaking, that are uh, lesser known, although that's sometimes not the case with the Royal Winnipeg Ballet bringing fabulous shows every year. Um, but an artist like Guy Mendelo, we have in this season, uh, is definitely lesser known in Nanaimo, but an incredible artist. So one of the things I try to do with the Spotlight series is, is get a guarantee of excellence with these artists. You may not know them, but I want you to trust the Spotlight series. I want you to trust that the brochure, everything in it, is worth seeing. And we all know that the arts is good business and certainly the arts will be reflected at the upcoming Biz Expo at the Vancouver Island Conference Centre October the 22nd. Free admission to the public from 1 until 5. And there's other events taking place that are ticketed and lightning talks is one of them. There are four different speakers on a themed topic and the speakers are pretty impressive. David Hatchman, Jen Helpy Ferguson, we have Nick West and Colleen Torout will all be presenting in lightning talks that runs from 3 until 4.30. You can get all this information through the Chamber of Commerce website. We're heading down to Ladysmith now where a couple of guys have developed a new Lego game. They're giving it a little bit of a test run to see if it's worth taking the next step into production. Yes, Lego is good business. Here's Derek Johnstone.